Hey there, garden friends. Kevin Jordan here at Field Trippin'. Uh, hope you're doing great. So I'm out in the garden this morning. It's really cold and chilly. Last week it was a little warmer. I think I'm right in the middle of full spring. It's still winter here. It's cool, it's cold, but I'm loving it right now. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about growing and harvesting cabbage. Um, you can see here, I've got a bunch of cabbage out here in the school garden. It is growing so well. Oh, we planted these last fall and it's now end of winter. We're looking towards the spring here in a little bit. So I'm hoping we can harvest these pretty soon. So I'm gonna show you some close-ups uh, so you can take a look at um, how we like to harvest these, when we harvest them, and how big they got, what we did. And basically it's all about giving them time, giving them space, giving them really good soil, and then giving them a chance early on to get off to a great start by keeping those pests away from them early. Uh, we've had some pretty good success, a little bit of pest pressure early on, um, but mostly from some birds nipping some holes in my leaves. So we've been pretty fortunate, but we've got some monsters here. I wanna show you uh, what it's like to grow and harvest some cabbage. So let's take a closer look. So as you can see, our, our cabbage are looking pretty good. And we actually have a few rows here. Most of these were all planted at relatively the same time, uh, but it's just kind of interesting to see them all develop at a slightly different pace from each other, even though they might be side by side. So you can see some here that are really close to being ready. Like, actually, I could probably even harvest these today. And um, actually that might be the hope for some of these. What's cool about cabbage is they do take up a little space, but for how much material you get and how much food comes out of them, um, it's pretty impressive. It stores really well. Cabbage is amazing for your health. And if, we're, if you have cool weather, cold weather uh, where you live, Cabbage seems to love it. So for us, uh, these, like I said, these are fall planted, but you could actually plant, plant these again right now. So if I was pulling these up and wanted to get another batch in, I could probably quickly get them planted and have them ready to harvest by early spring. Now, when things warm up and it gets really hot, it's just too hot for us to grow them here in our summers. Um, whereas maybe if you live in a cooler climate, there, they might be, um, you know, you probably have a chance to grow them in the summer potentially. But for us, they're a nice cool season crop. You can see they're getting really big. And as I mentioned, they're actually in different states. These, here's some cauliflower that actually got transplanted over here as we pulled. Um, there was a uh, cabbage there earlier, but here's some monsters. And what I like to do is look at how that head is developing. So you, I wanna show you different states here. So um, different, um, like this one right here is a little bit further behind. You can see the head is a little looser. You can see how there's like, kind of has some give to it. It's kind of squishy in a way, and it hasn't fully developed. Um, you can tell just by touching it, feeling it, and just the look of it as well. Here's one right here that's ready, ready, ready to be harvested. It's almost actually probably even a little, I'm on the, might be, um, I might be even a little late to the game on this one. And, um, ooh, that wind is so cold, um, although the sun is coming out. But this one's probably ready. It's really firm to the touch. You can see it even ripping through its own leaves. That one's ready to go. Um, here's another one that's, like I said, is a, it's like a monster size one that is hard, 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 hard. And so depending upon what type of cabbage you're growing, they're all going to look a little bit different at maturity. I think these are a mixture of a few different varieties, but they're um, kind of similar in that they're, they're, they're the large ones. They're uh, the I think I got like the flat Dutch, maybe a Copenhagen, a couple different varieties uh, out in our garden this year. But if you grow like Napa cabbage or some of the other varieties that just look different, they're gonna, um, they're just gonna be different at maturity because it's just by the shape and the morphology of those plants, they, they just have a different look. And so but just to see how, how firm that head is, to me, that's a great indicator. Um, uh, hopefully our chef can use these. Here's one that's also ready. So what I will do is when I go to harvest, I'll hop up, I'll pull out a lot of these outer leaves and those will go right to the worms. If you don't have a worm bin, um, you know, feed them to your chickens or your livestock, or you can get it right into the uh, compost pile and that's fine as well. And so I'll pull these away because they're done for the most part. I'm not really gonna do much with them. Although if you were if you were starving and really wanted some extra greens, I'm, I'm sure they could probably be cooked. They're, it's all edible. It's just not as good as that interior head. Right there, you can, oh, see a little bit of rainwater got caught in there from yesterday. And that's essentially our head. I'll, then I'll have the students come out here and we'll just clip it, get the loppers out. Or if you have a, like a harvesting knife, just whoosh, cut it right there, bring it in. You, you know, a few more of these outer leaves can get pulled away and bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself a beautiful head of cabbage. So you can kind of see what, you can pull away some of those outer sun leaves there that are protecting it and get down just that head. So I'll, I'll come back and harvest those later. Now here's a good example of ones that are just aren't quite there yet. There you can see them still developing. Um, sometimes if the head doesn't develop, you'll even see them start to flower prematurely. I'm hoping we don't have that situation here, but a few of them almost look like it. 
Uh, it just it just happens, but we'll see. We want to avoid all that. What we've done is we gave them plenty of space. I think we have them in rows three feet on center. Plants are probably, you know, 18 inches apart. <laughs> and so giving them space is good, but you could probably get them a little tighter. You see how there's a little gap right here? If you wanted to snug them up and not have that middle row, you, uh, you probably absolutely could do it just fine. But for us, with the kids here, I like to give them plenty of space. That way we can kind of get in and around all of our plants. It just makes for... Um, just less trampling, I say. So <laughs> it's up to you. But here is a monster. Just look how big this one is. So this is another one that's ready. It's pretty firm, pretty tight head. You can see the one right next to it. Developing, but not quite ready yet. Still has a good squish to it. So patience pays off. Um, just be patient. You can see these ones right here are just about there as well. So I can't wait to pull those leaves off and slice these ones out of here. Get them into the kitchen because they, they, they just go so good in a stir fry and soups. Um, I love doing cabbage wraps where you wrap them up with, you know, different types of vegetables, herbs, and meat, and then bake that all up and get all those leaves all nice and soft and cooked and just, they're so delicious, but I really, really love uh, growing the cabbage. So I highly recommend it. Just, we fed them with an uh, organic fertilizer. You can see here, we've been actually been doing top dressings um, with compost from our compost pile and just doing it around the plants. Uh, just kind of you know layering it on there layering it on there adding to it you can see they've got some other friends like the garlic but here's a row right here that we planted probably a few weeks after those rows you just saw so you can see that we have one here just about ready to rock you can see oh yeah nice and firm baby um, but then the ones behind it are still a little juvenile they're not quite there yet kind of like me they're a little little immature but you can see this is the early signs of that head starting to form so they're a little while uh, ways back. That's why it's kind of nice if you stagger some of your plantings. Uh, I, I know I've, I've gotten the habit sometimes where I'll just plant everything in the garden all at once or just plant it as soon as possible. And then you have everything's ready to harvest sometimes all at once. And if you're not ready for that, um, it can be a little overwhelming. So if you like to have an ongoing harvest, if that makes it easier for you, try to space out your plantings a little bit by you know two or three weeks here or there. It can make a massive difference when you're harvesting. Uh, and just as far as how space develops and how much you know effort you want to put into the garden you can kind of space some of that work out a little bit and so by planting at different times uh, you can do that also just different varieties um, can be helpful as well because they're all going to have a different am amount of time to get mature or days to harvest so that's always something to consider when you're looking at the seed packet or that information label look how long it takes from the time you plant it to the time it'll be harvested and that'll give you a good indication of what to expect but uh, like I said, I just love growing cabbage. I hope you do it too. It's um, it's a great crop to grow, really easy in my opinion, and it just produces so much. And what's great is uh, they grow really well in the cool season, just like our broccoli and our cauliflower. The brassicas are just boss when it's cold out. And these are just a great example of that. And so I, I hope you're gardening at home, hope you're growing, uh, and I hope you're considering growing some cabbage. Until next time, garden friends, happy gardening to you all. We'll see you next time.